Let's see. Coming up today on This Is True Really News. Duff. Space experts. Yeah, are we talking like the condo woman or are we talking like NASA? Um, well, I don't think it's NASA. It has to do so, with meteors. Oh, so it's that kind not because some space experts now tell you how to use yours better. Right, right. And they always right. have these stupid things like throw out some of your books, which is awesome. Okay. Are they nuts? What the hell is wrong with them? Or reduce the number of guitars in your collection. Same insane. story, second verse. What right. is, I mean, really? Yeah. Do you no. really need Batman comic books? Do you really need to live? Get out of my house. <laughs> I liked her too. That's why I married her. But hey. Hey, it's the way it is. So if you like that kind of insightful repartee. Right now, Michelle is even as we speak on the phone to my to her sister going. <laughs> Kill him. You still living at home? Please like, subscribe, and follow This Is True Really News. Leave a comment if you care. Because and honestly, when we first got married, she, she said she was the optimistic one, and she gave us five years. Well, Michelle. Thanks, Shell. Appreciate that. Yeah. She was on our side. Because <laughs> nobody else was. No. And, um, oh, what's, where was I? Oh, and if you find a story you think we'd like, please send it to TITR at netradio.network. There you go. Did you do the comment thing? Yes. All right, we're good. This is True Really News with Scott Combs and Tony Vercanis. All the news you're about to hear is true. Really? As far as you know. So, two Louisville, Kentucky roommates got into a heated dispute at their home in May. The Charlotte Observer reports the reason for the argument was unlikely. They heard it as far away as Charlotte? Think Gaffigan. Jim? Mm hmm. What do you suppose they were arguing over? Something stupid. Toilet paper. Hot pockets. Oh, no. What about the toilet belt? That would be right after the hot pockets. Oh, okay. Yeah. Clifton Williams, 64 years old, by the way. 64 years. He's our age, this moron. Well, he's a little younger than we are, so maybe. Yeah, by a year, it doesn't matter at this state. He Ooh. needs to grow up a little bit, I think. He was charged with second-degree assault after he allegedly shot the victim. Williams, and I'm quoting here, got mad that he ate the last hot pocket and began throwing tiles at him. Police say when the victim moved to leave the home, Williams retrieved his firearm and shot the man in the posterior. Ooh, the butox. In the south end of a northbound person leaving a, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Last we heard, he was in custody at the Louisville Metro Connections. Metro Corrections, sorry. Metro Connections is a whole other thing. Which I'm a guy who, shot, who shoots people in the butt and I'm looking for love. That would be the Metro Connection. That way you'd be a Metro Connectual. Space experts have been left stunned. Stunned! You sure it's not Kim Commando? I'm fair certain it's not Kim Commando. She um, does the she does the uh, the um, computer show or used to. I don't know if she still does. That's true. Who does the thing on? I forget. Go ahead. Space experts have been left. I didn't mean to interrupt your state of thought. I'm sorry. <laughs> stunned. I say. I hate when that happens to me. So I don't like doing it to other people. After, especially now, when they're going to talk about something that intrigues me, and I'm waiting to hear this whole story. Absolutely. After a woman was struck by anything else, right. I might interrupt you. I mean, for crashing? drivel, drivel, drizzle, drizzle. drizzle. Is what you... <laughs> this could First take time a while. I've ever been able to stop it. <laughs> <laughs> the unnamed <clears throat> lady uh, with an unidentified, you know, thing that came crashing through her roof was left left bruised on her ribs after the freak accident in Shermick. France. Remember this. Catch the ball with the hands <laughs> away. You, the Look hands it into your mid. You. Just bring it into you like this, okay? <laughs> Don't let it catch your body and catch it. That'll hurt. You'll bruise ribs. She said the space rock smashed through the roof while she was drinking coffee with her friend. And don't ever try to catch a space rock. That's just stupid. I tried to catch a boomerang on its way back one time. That was also incredibly stupid. Man, did that. I hurt. never could get them to come back. Yeah, it was something. My brother's friend, Peter Wiesman, could. And I said, I'll catch it. And he was yelling at me, no, no, too late. I caught it all right. 
Dr. Thierry Redman told France Bleu Alsace. Sorry. France Bleu Alsace. That's you're having a small aneurysm type strokey. No, thing no, no. I was speaking there. French. Finding a meteor is already uncommon, but to be in direct contact and have it fall on you, that's astronomically rare. <laughs> See what he did? <laughs> astronomically. We haven't seen that in decades in this region. Well, in February of 2021, a meteorite smashed into a driveway in the Winchcomb area of Gloucestershire. The 4.6 billion year old meteor entered the plant's atmosphere, planet's atmosphere, I should say, as a burning fireball after originating in the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter and feeling it deserved a place on Earth to live amongst the humans. Earlier this year, a similar incident happened when a meteorite crashed into a woman's home in New Jersey. I think the Hopewell stroke. I just the, didn't go. The Hopewell Police Department released a photo of a space rock next to a damaged floor. Susie Cop, who wasn't home at the time of the crash, told CBS Philadelphia it landed in her father's bedroom. I thank God my father was not here, nor was anyone else here. We weren't hurt or anything. I did touch it because I thought it, it was a random rock. I don't know. It was warm. Does she have weird superpowers now? Well, what's her name? Let me see. Cop. Susie Cop? Maybe. She fights for good, you know, because it would just be wrong otherwise. What does she do? Warm you up with her hand? Here you go. Well, I think I'll turn myself in now that I'm nice and warm. Don't touch me there. I'm already warm there. Residents in Hallathorpe, Maryland, are frustrated with the progress of a new bridge on U.S. Route 1, according to WBAL-TV. Why ever? Because they've been waiting for months for the bridge to fully open. Okay. But there's just a teensy, weensy, itsy, bitsy, almost can't notice it error that's in the way. Which is? Well, the bridge crosses over CSX railroad tracks. Yeah. Okay. And they require a minimum of 23 feet of vertical clearance. Okay. Yeah. Have we got clearance, Clarence? No, they're an inch and a half shy of Ooh. clearance. Clarence. Inch and a half. CSX has halted the remaining construction to complete the bridge, according to the Maryland Department of Transportation Engineer, who I'm sure is pleased as punch. I understand you get hiccups, but this is not a hiccup. This is a mistake this is like building stands for a soccer pitch that face away from the pitch on that line you know, yeah yeah somebody needs to be held accountable and it needs to be taken care of now come to minnesota they'll just pass it off and charge us more to tear it all down and rebuild it again just put a little peek in it where the trains can go through said resident desiree collins you have engineers this should never have happened true that but then again you did allow your government to take care of all of it so might be your fault kind of just saying. <laughs> well the that's what they're gonna say the state highway department is now hoping it may open up late this year or maybe early in 24 maybe or sometime in 19 maybe they could just shear 18. off a couple inches of the each train car that would just put sandpaper under it and let them you know loop it down yeah but that won't help the first time <laughs> Well, no, but it'll lose a smokestack. Big deal. Hey, wow, look, I can see the stars are so beautiful. <laughs> Speaking of blaming the victim, Nashville, Tennessee, WSMV. Uh, hmm? WSMV. I only remember WSM. In Nashville? Yeah, Ralph Emery. Well, this is WSMV. WSM is, a, is the radio station. Maybe this is version two or the television station. Hmm. People are already, rather, people already struggling to make ends meet are being hit with a double whammy. I hate those double whammies. Their former apartment Dag and manager, Nebit. <laughs> former apartment manager is accused of stealing their rent payments. Casey Euler, who, whose name should have told you something, is under investigation. Euler's accused of taking those payments. WSMV4 investigates, has confirmed that Euler has also been charged in Warren County and, and is under investigation for stealing rent payments in Detchard. 
According to the Jackson, Tennessee, uh, based, yeah, according to the Jackson, Tennessee based Holly Tree Apartments, they recently admitted in a letter to tenants that it isn't their fault that their rent payments are stolen. However, here we go. The company still wants residents to pay up again. WSMV4 Investigates asked the company why tenants are expected to pay back money stolen by one of their employees. According to management supervisor Brad Tursky, whose name should also tell you something, the money orders were given to her blank, so she just wrote her name on them. However, WSMV4 Investigates has copies of some of the money orders. And if you look closely, you can see that they were both originally made out to Holly Tree Apartments. Euler's name was written over that. So close. When told about the orders obtained by WSMV, Tursky reiterated that the money was not deposited into our account to become our money. Um, these are low-income folks, and if there is a kind lawyer in the area, please just help them out. Actually, if there's any lawyer, this shouldn't be that hard. No, this isn't going to take long. No. It won't take much of your time, and you can make a few bucks. Yeah. Give it a shot. Wow. This is True Really News. Send email to TITR at netradio.network.